This is the story of the journey of a bell which once hung in a small church in Jonesville in 1884 and now hangs in the Jonesville Cemetery. Now a private residence, the small Grace Episcopal Church was founded on February 12, 1882 by the Right Reverend William Doan, the Bishop of Albany, to serve the Jonesville community. The church was closed in 1963. The bell was then taken by Reverend Leon Cartmel, pastor at the time, to Charlton to its new home in the Mission Home from 1968 to 1985. The 374 pound chapel bell, which originally cost $110, was cast in 1883 in the Manili Bell Company in Troy, New York. It had been ordered by the Reverend Walter Delafield and the Choristers of Christ Church in Boston Spa, New York, and presented to the Grace Episcopal Church in Jonesville on Whit Sunday, 1883. According to Torben Abo, former president of the Charlton Historic Society, the structure supporting the bell at the Mission House deteriorated, the bell damaged, and the bell and broken yoke and wheel later stored in his garage. When newspaper accounts indicated that John Shearer, town historian, and the town of Clifton Park had been offered the bell from the Charlton Historical Society, the location of the placement of the bell became of interest to the Jonesville Cemetery Association. A town committee had roughed out its ideas as to a proposed structure for the bell to be placed on town property in Clifton Park. After several presentations by the association to the town board, and after the community had an opportunity for input as to a proper location for the bell, the town board approved the permanent display of the town-owned bell in the historic Jonesville Cemetery, the community in which the bell had been originally intended. Here, two members of the association meet with Jamie Hinman of Hinman Construction Company and a property owner in the cemetery to plan the placement and design of his fully donated bell tower. Within months, Hinman built the main structure and used a crane to place the new roof on it. At the same time, Mike Shehan, town administrator, and Mark Kazmarak, member of the town building department and of the town preservation committee, oversaw all aspects of the repair of the broken yoke and the wheel so they would be ready for placement. Next came the placement of the bell in the restricted space of the bell tower. Town employees and the Hinman brothers on the right focused on the challenges of hanging the bell. When they had finished, it was time for an historic picture of them. And of the Himmon brothers, whose own brother, who had passed away years ago, lies a short distance from their gift to the cemetery. The tower was now ready for the final steps. New, informative plaques were placed by the association on the tower. A security fence was built by Mike Shan and Mark Kazmarak on a very cold, rainy week. Town Supervisor Phil Barrett and members of the town board shared their thoughts on their pleasure in selecting the historic cemetery as the location of the bell 
and on their commitment to ensuring the structure and the bell. Ed Hughes, Vice President, represented the association in expressing its appreciation to the town for returning the bell to Jonesville and for the unique partnership between the town and the association into preserving the bell in its new location. Then came the ringing of the bell by Milton Hatley, a former member of the Grace Episcopal Church, the original location of the bell, and retired trustee of the Cemetery Association. As Mike Shehan, town administrator, and Torben Abo member of the Charlton Historical Society, listened to this historic moment. Norma Davy, Association Secretary, Treasurer, daughter of Milton Hatley, and a member of the Congregation of the Grace Episcopal Church, shares her appreciation with Jamie Hinman and his wife. John Shearer, town historian, shares his thoughts with Ed Hughes and with Pat O'Donnell, town clerk. The bell which had journeyed from the Grace Episcopal Church to the Charlton Mission House and to years of silence in a barn has come to rest in its permanent home in the Jonesville Cemetery. At the moment Milton Hatley rang the bell, we all became one with our ancestors who had heard the bell years ago, and with all those who will follow us for centuries. May this historic bell unite all who hear it in joy and peace. <laughs>